Hey guys, it's Danny. So if you've been subscribed for quite a while, you know that I have a long, long battle with spider mites. And about a week and a half ago, I did a treatment with insecticide, actually pesticide, against them because conventional biological means do not work at all. So it's time to see if the treatment actually works because I wouldn't be surprised if these guys are really hard to kill, even with pesticides. So this is the pesticide that I used. It has as an active ingredient abamectin, which is supposed to be very powerful. And I used it on all of my orchids, either by soaking, either by spraying. Bottom line, I drenched my orchids in insecticide. No cranny was left dry. And here I'm taking a look at the most affected orchid that I have, it's the Phalaenopsis leodoro. Spider mites actually prefer Phalaenopsis, they're really hard to remove from their leaves. Somehow they embed themselves in the leaves, it's horrible actually. So as you can see, there are still spider mites left, but it doesn't mean they're alive, they will not just dry and fall off. They will remain on the leaf, but the important thing is that they're dead. So while we're looking, let me just tell you a little bit of the history that I had with the spider mites. I have them for about two years now. And I've I've tried everything except pesticides because I'm not really okay with pesticides used in the apartment where you don't have enough ventilation and I also had a pet bird and it was really tricky to actually use pesticides so I tried Nemo, rosemary oil, soaps, alcohols, whatever you can think of. I tried garlic as well, I tried drowning the spider mites, almost anything you can possibly imagine I tried it but it didn't work really. The problem was that I had an infected balcony and it's really hard to get rid of a problem if you still have individuals that are hidden. Also, all of these methods do not affect eggs and when the eggs hatch you practically have another generation of spider mites that you need to eradicate. So you kind of need to repeat treatments every few days and I had and still have about 150 orchids. It's a lot of work, trust me. It's sometimes humanly impossible to do this by yourself. If you don't have a handful of friends or family to help you out, it's impossible. So for two years, I tried everything you can imagine to get rid of them and nothing actually worked. The infestation was so profound that I think I had thousands, if not millions of spider mites in my balcony and on my orchids. I have had enough, so I decided to use the strong stuff. I was able to perform it safely with protection gear, of course, and in a ventilated environment. I was outside, so I wasn't inside. Everything was okay and of course I had help. So looking at the images, you can see I do still have the spider mites there. It's impossible to actually remove them unless you use a cotton ball or something. However, they do not move at all. And here is how live spider mites actually look like. As you can see, they move. It's really easy to tell their legs are moving, they're active. But right now, all the spider mites that I see are not moving after a week. This is a first. And it's quite cool and quite encouraging. I really hope they are actually dead. But I have to tell you the truth. Even if they're dead, seeing them gives me the hibijibis. You guys, these guys are the spawn of evil. I'm not even joking. And literally, I was prepared to see them still alive and to reapply the treatment. Now, with the pesticide, some sources say that you should reapply. Some say you should not. It depends. I don't know. I'm just gonna monitor them. If I need reapplying, I will reapply and that's that. But I think it's working, you guys. Even though they're still there. They might be dead. They're there. It's scary. But I think it's working. So I think we're on the good track and hopefully no more spider mites and infestations and all sorts of nasty stuff. Okay, thank you guys for watching. This was the update. It's promising so far. We'll see in the future what happens. I will keep you up to date. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more orchid videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a daily basis. Also, feel free to leave me questions or suggestions for videos you might have in the comment section below. I always read and I always answer. If you click on the left side of your screen, you're gonna be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets, and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thanks for joining, I'll see you next time, bye!